What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Kid Boo. Okay, so today we are going to draw Kid Boo from Dragon Ball Z. As you can see, we started by drawing a perfect square. Each side is 4 cm, but you can draw it in any size you want to, just maintain the same size relation. So without further ado, we are going to start by drawing Boo's face. We'll do that by using 5 lines. And then indicate the top of his head. This is gonna be Boo's final form from the end of the saga in Dragon Ball Z. And next we are going to draw his ears by using three lines. Next we are going to draw his trap muscles. Following with the neck. And then we are just going to draw his collarbone, although he doesn't have any bones. And now we'll go back to the face and we'll draw his lumps above the eyes. It looks the same as Super Saiyan 3 and basically many other Dragon Ball characters. Now to create the eye we'll use three lines, two diagonals and a curve underneath. And we'll place the iris and the pupil at the center but slightly to the left. Add some wrinkles. And we are going to do the same process for the left side, using the square to keep the right symmetry. Awesome, next we are going to draw his nose right below the eyes and then we are going to give him a malicious smile. As you can see the right edge moves up a bit. We are going to add his sharp teeth. indicate his chin and then we are going to refine his ears just adding some wrinkles right at the edges and we'll add two holes one on each side also next we're going to draw his antenna on the top of his head as you can see it starts big and then it goes gradually and gets thinner. add some details and get rid of all the unnecessary guidelines. Also next we are going to fill up the eyes, as you can see I'm holding the pencil closer to the tip this time, just because it allows me to apply more pressure and therefore get more lead on the paper, that's how we get that dark tone of grey. Next we are going to add 6 holes to the head, it's gonna be 3 on each side and as you can see I'm first starting with a nice long curve and then I'm adding another curve and fill it up, that way we can create a nice depth to the hole. Awesome, next it's time for the shading process, so today we are going to use the cross hatching technique, but before I'll explain this 
First, we want to mark all the shaded areas for this drawing in a process that is called cell shading. And for this drawing, I want the main light source to come from the left side, which obviously means that the right side will appear darker. Awesome! Next, I want you to grab your HB2 pencil, hold it closer to the eraser, that way you will apply less pressure on the pencil, and that way you will get a brighter tone of grey. Then, you can blend the colors if you want, using your finger, spreading it all around the face and now it's time for the cross hatching technique so basically what we want to do is draw some diagonal lines with the same distance from one to the other and we'll do that all over the shaded areas we marked earlier get rid of all the unnecessary lines and then to get a darker tone of shade we are going to do the same process but this time to the opposite direction and that way this side will appear darker And if you want to get an even darker tone, again we are going to use some diagonals, but we'll pull them in a different angle just like that. Of course, get rid of all the unnecessary lines on the teeth, and then we are going to use the eraser. Now I'm using the eraser stick, but you can of course use the eraser on the top of your pencil, and by erasing some of that lead we can create a nice highlight. I'm gonna blend it a bit, and then do the same process also next what we want to do is color the eye just to make the drawing look a bit more interesting as you can see it's an orange tone and then to make this sketch looking more unique I decided to add some geometrical shapes so what i want to do is draw a rectangle i'm using the pink color to symbolize as booze color we'll draw this line around 14 centimeters and this line will be six and a half centimeters now it doesn't have to be as accurate to the millimeter just try to do it as accurate as you can next i'm gonna add some lightnings And then we are going to fill up those areas and just like before to get more lead on the paper I'm gonna hold the pencil closer to the tip and I'll try to color in the direction of the shape And 
and we are done everybody congratulations for finishing this tutorial this is how you draw Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z please let me know how you did in the comment section and tell me which character would you like me to draw next and if you want to see more tutorials you can check out my tutorials playlist I got more than 170 tutorials I think by now that's it for today thanks a lot for watching keep being awesome as always and we'll see you on the next video very soon. Peace.